Good morning, folks. Big day in observer world. We'll hit space weather, earthquakes, storms, and cosmological physics is coming around in a huge way. Later today, I'm letting the chain off the wolf, but right now, let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star, once again contemplating all possible meanings of silent as the grave. We have entered the valley, the trough of sunspot minimum, no sunspots and no solar flares. Solar wind at Earth with only slight speed intensifications, middle panel in purple, but with decreasing plasma density in orange above, leaving Earth geomagnetically stabilizing. Don't remember what I said yesterday about earthquake risk because I'm too focused on what happened in the Arctic Circle. That's two large and very exceptionally rare location earthquakes striking northern Alaska. Very much hoping that's all there is to the uptick, but the alert cannot technically expire just yet. Corona hole turning through center disk now, with the next opening, a southern extension, visible at the left side, the eastern limb. Let's go to the satellites where the majority of storm returns and lightning came up through Mexico and bolted east and northeast. Meanwhile, despite the confined nature of yesterday's monsoon pattern in the west, one of the strongest events of the afternoon was indeed in Arizona. Major storm took out power to tens of thousands in Phoenix, and there is some major cleaning up to do. Let's quickly pull the mesoscale images so you can watch that system from above as it exploded down from Flagstaff through Phoenix and down towards the border. Our top stories today touch on the covert matter and energy of dust, plasma, hidden and extinct current. This first one described how the variability of dust and dark gas is responsible for the peculiar dust to gas ratios, which in fact corrects a major component of deep space mass modeling. This is some of the covert matter. Up next is the mystery of hot dust grains near stars, too small to survive solar wind, too small to survive the timeline in all current models, the only explanation is an unseen force of attraction outside of gravity and magnetic field trapping, well where there's magnetism there's electric fields as well and those have not yet been investigated. Website members, if you caught the last Deeper Look episode you know the magic that might already be at work with those dust and gases. How long before the two groups of scientists in different fields come together? In just a few hours, Facts Part 3 is going to come out, and I let a few professors and NASA scientists on our list serve watch it first. They do take a risk being part of this community, and besides, I wanted to get their feedback. This is going to be exciting. Let's just say, if you want someone to understand something, you make it as simple as possible. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 3.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.